Hi, I'm Fiona Smith, Head of Radio here at the Australian Film, Television and Radio School. And I'm going to talk to you about some of the most common questions that we get asked regarding our Graduate Diploma in Radio course. The number one thing that we're looking for with your application task is potential. We want to see if you can tell a story in a unique way, tell us about who you are and identify that potential that's transferable for the radio and podcast industries. So we're really looking about potential, not about the production quality of your application task. So feel free to record on whatever device you've got access to. You don't need to have a professional studio to record your application task. The other thing too with applications is we're also wanting to find out about who you are. So what other things have you done? You know, have you got a performing arts background? Did you study drama? Tell us about those things. All kinds of creativity can be included in your application. Our website has a fantastic pathway that you can click on and find out all the details so that if your situation is a little bit unique, perhaps you don't have an undergraduate degree, but you do have an advanced diploma through TAFE and you have been maybe doing some volunteering with your local community station, there's a pathway there and you can see all of those details on our website because we know that everyone's unique and their journey to afters is also unique and we want to make sure that we can give you the best chance to succeed here. Absolutely. It's a very competitive industry working in radio and podcasting and we hope that you build resilience and more experience by applying multiple times. Sometimes people aren't accepted first go and it does take a few times after gathering more experience and more industry passion, I suppose, uh, to actually come back and be successful. So please don't be disheartened if you are not successful the first time around. Uh, in fact, we've had that happen to a number of students who have come back and been successful in the following year or two. Podcasting is blowing up, we know that, and there's so many opportunities. So we would definitely encourage you to apply because we're looking for unique Australian storytellers. And if you have made a podcast, great, tell us about it, let us hear it, and we'll let you know if you've got what it takes to be accepted into this course. I would encourage anyone who has started making content to keep making content. Because this course is designed for people who want a professional career in the podcast and radio industries, we want to know that you're really deeply committed to that. And that happens over time. So it's wonderful that you've discovered a passion for podcasting. Keep making it. Find out how to improve the audio production quality. Come and do one of our short courses here and learn more about what's involved to make a podcast but I would definitely encourage you to keep making as much content as possible and, and see if it's something that you wanna do in another six months. Oh, the only difference between our Graduate Diploma Radio course full-time versus part-time is uh, that one gives you the chance to study full-time over one year or part-time over two. Content is exactly the same. Due to the nature of the course and how we structure the learning, we can't have people actually switching streams once the course has commenced. However, if you are still undecided at the moment, we encourage you to apply for both and during the application process, we'll help you to work out what's the best scenario for your situation. Oh, that is a very good question and it does fluctuate depending on who applies. We only take the best and who we believe um, have the biggest chance of having a long and sustainable career in radio and podcasting. Therefore, our classes uh, do fluctuate a little bit, but we also don't take hundreds of students either because we want you to have a really unique experience here uh, and get enough time on the equipment um, and that means usually a class size under 20. 
Yes, you will get to work in a few radio stations and they are amazing experiences for you to apply your learning and really engage deeply in the practice and different roles that you can um, experience in a radio station. There are four live broadcasts in the full-time stream and two per year in the part-time. As part of both courses, which have exactly the same content, you will do a one-week industry work placement at the very end of your course. Now, this is a chance for you to go to the radio industry and apply all of the skills that you've learned through the year in a real world context. Some of the examples that we've arranged uh, for work placements include radio stations with the ABC, also right across the commercial sector including Nova, uh, the Hit Network and also ARN. We have amazing facilities here at Afters in our three radio and podcast studios. You will work on the latest equipment that is just being rolled out into industry now, including digital desks. We use Zeta here, which is our playout system. We have Axia consoles, hydraulic desks that can be adjustable so you can present standing up or sitting down. And we also teach you a range of software that's used throughout the radio and podcast industries, including uh, Pro Tools, G Selector, News Boss, Vox Pro, Phonebox, and heaps of other ones. You'll have an absolute ball. Initially, you'll probably feel a little bit overwhelmed, but it's very normal and you definitely will be able to use all of them to industry standards throughout the course. Afters Radio and Podcast Studios are also accessible for everyone. We have voice annotations set up and screen readers available for visually impaired students. And our studios uh, have hydraulic desks, so you can sit or stand and all of the um, entries into the studios are available for wheelchair access as well. Well, first of all, it depends on the kind of job that you want and where you're prepared to go for it. There are lots of opportunities in the radio and podcast industry and we work so closely with industry, not just in the design of our course, but also in the delivery. Throughout the year, we bring in key industry practitioners who are at the top of their game, who can air check you, mentor you, and also teach some of your lectures as well. And it's not uncommon for students to secure employment shortly after finishing the course. That has been our track record for a really long time. Because there's nowhere quite like us in the world. If you are looking to launch your career in radio and podcasting, then study at Afters. We work so closely with industry, we have an outstanding track record for launching careers. Some of the biggest shows in Australia and podcasts feature our alumni. So if you're looking and you're serious about wanting a career in radio and podcasting, then we look forward to meeting you soon.